Global stratification. Global stratification refers to this unequal distribution among nations, and there are two dimensions to these stratifications, gaps between nations and gaps within nations. And when it comes to global inequality, both economic inequality and social inequality may concentrate the burden of poverty among certain segments of the Earth's populations. And global stratification compares the wealth, economic stability, status, and power of countries across the world, and also highlights worldwide patterns of social inequality within nations. In the early years of civilization, hunter-gatherer and agrarian societies lived off the earth and rarely interacted with other societies, except during times of war. And as civilization began to grow and emerging cities developed political and economic systems, trade increased as did military conquest. Explorers went out in search of new land and resources as well as to trade goods, ideas, and customs. They eventually took land, people, and resources from all over the world, building empires and establishing networks of colonies with imperialist policies, foundational religious ideologies, and incredible economic and military power. In the 90th century, the Industrial Revolution created unprecedented wealth in Western Europe and North America. And due to these mechanical inventions and new means of production, people began working in factories, not only men, but women and children as well. The Industrial Revolution also saw the rise of vast inequalities between countries that were industrialized and those that were not. And as some nations embraced technology and saw increased wealth and goods, others maintained their ways as the gap widened, the non-industrialized nations fell further behind. And according to Rostow, as industrialized nations become rich, other nations became poor. <laughs>